The farmers and residents of Mumias in Kakamega County have welcomed the government's revival plan for the troubled sugar industry. Well, farmers who had shunned sugarcane farming and resorted to planting other food and cash crops now say they are ready to go back to farms if the government lives up to its promise. Now, the optimism by the farmers comes more than a week after the National Treasury forwarded its memorandum to the National Assembly with proposals on how to revive the sugar sector in the region. Sunday morning at Maurice Okumu's farm in Munganga, Mumias East. Okumu takes a walk inside the farm with his family and friends. For decades, the family heavily relied on sugarcane farming as a source of livelihood until the collapse of Mumia's sugar company six years ago. They had to resort to maize farming to sustain themselves as the company went under receivership, but last week's pronouncement by President William Bruto to take control of the company that has renewed their hope. Let the government put iweke kwa nafasi management ambaye ina haja na production ya cane management ambaye inaelewa mkulima hapa akipanda miwa miwa hiyo itasagwa sukari hiyo ikitolewa inauzwa hapa wingi wake sasa mimi nitakuwa na faidi huku wanaobeba wana faidi wale wanapalia hapa wana faidi Okumu says government should prioritize empowering farmers before the revival of the company as their input is what will sustain its operations. Other farmers in the area have appealed to President Ruto to ensure politicians are not involved in the affairs of the company as efforts to revive it before collapsed due to political interference. Said ukitaka tuamushe mmias sugar na kuomba raisi wetu anza na hiyo ofisi ya moko usimamishe hao watu wajulikane watembee wachukue maoni na timu yako wajue tunaanzia wapi na tutamalizia wapi but the optimism is not just among farmers but also the business community in Shibale where the company is located a visit to Shibale a once vibrant town is now a pale shadow of itself these shops, which used to operate on a daily basis, are closed, with a few businesses in operation complaining of low sales. Watu walikuwa wanakuja hapa wanafanya hapa Mumias Company, wanatoka huko wanakuja wanatunu wako mboga, si tunasikia vizuri. Lakini sai, watatoka wapi ndiyo wanunue vitu hapa shibali. Maduka imefunga. The government, through a memorandum from the National Treasury to the National Assembly, has outlined 15 strategic interventions, which it says will guide the revival of five public sugar mills in the country. The strategy include leasing of the sugar mills, merging of some of the public companies, writing off debts owned by the public sugar mills to a tune of 115 billion shillings, enhance efficient settlement of disputes, and enforcing zoning to incentivize investors into the sector. For Mumia's sugar company, Treasury has recommended a revitalization committee be appointed to work with the board, county governments and other key stakeholders to identify and implement an effective restructuring plan. A move that farmers and residents are eagerly waiting to be implemented after parties that had filed the cases against the running of the companies withdrew their cases following a presidential directive.